Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be changing the rear brake shoes on a Dodge Cummings. This is a 01 3500. The 2500s and the 3500s are use the same braking system and shoes in this year range. And 01 halfway through they used uh, halfway through the year they used the shoes and then they switched over to discs. So if you got disc, obviously that's it's going to be different. Uh, we're going to go through step by step and I'm going to show you some tricks if you're a Dodge owner and I've had this problem with my Dodges before. The brakes want to unadjust themselves. So I'm going to show you a little tricks about how to keep that from happening and you know we're going to go through it all step by step. First thing of course is you know safety is always first. Put some blocks under your front wheel so your truck won't roll. Um, take the emergency brake off. You need the emergency brake off. And, you know, it's only a brake job. It's not worth your life, the truck falling on you. So, always think about it being safe. Now, I've obviously got the drum off of this. Sometimes, if your adjuster is adjusted all the way up, you can't get the drum off. So, what you do is you pop out your little rubber on the back of here and you take a punch or something and push back on this adjuster and then a, a screwdriver or a brake adjustment tool and you can back this off um, you know you can hear it clicking that's adjusting it but it, it, you know mine won't turn backwards because <laughs> I know how to make it that way but anyway yeah if you just push back take something and push back on a little, little bit and then you can adjust this in from the back of the drum until it gets loose enough then you can pull the drum off if not you could be sitting there fighting it forever trying to get it off anyway let's get to it and start what we're going to go doing so first thing we want to do is pull this uh, adjuster screw out and again now that you can get to it you can hold this out and you can screw it in makes it a little bit easier um, and you just grab the two bottoms of these shoes pull them apart and this will pop out of there and you just pop the whole screw piece out so we're gonna go ahead and do that first and then we'll see what's next okay so we got our adjuster screw out of there next thing we want to do they they use these little clips now these things go through you can reach around the back if you reach around the back you'll feel them and they're almost like a flat ribbon on the back and hold your finger on it and then take a screwdriver and push in okay if you push in these will move and they're hard to get off of there but there's one here and then there's one on the other side that's kind of behind your emergency brake thing here you can see so you pop those two things off next and then we'll move on to what we got after that so I got those springs off um, this is what the clip looks like as you can see now you can reuse this stuff numerous times I have all new pieces uh, I've used a, these have been on there quite a while so I mean it's, I think I paid like eight bucks for the kit to do both sides so I got all new hardware for it too um, and now that doesn't include the adjusters last time I did it I put new adjusters and the adjuster cable and stuff which I will show you but at any rate now your brakes are just going to basically fall off so you just got to kind of get them off there pull all the springs out you can see where the spring goes you got one spring in the top one spring in the bottom here there it is one spring in the bottom here and they will just pull out of the slot so you just pull those out and brace basically the brakes will just come right off so we're going to do that next so with the other side you have your this is an adjusting cable that goes up here and what happens is when you use your emergency brake this pulls and it will pull your self adjusting lever and in essence adjust your brakes so if your brakes are already adjusted it won't pull that much and it won't adjust your brakes but if your brakes 
are need adjusting or close to adjusting and you use your emergency brake, well then that will move it enough to make it go one click or whatever. And that is what's supposed to happen. But I know with the Dodges sometimes I end up adjusting them myself. But anyway, this piece just clips on this little, uh, your adjuster lever down here. So you just pop that off and you leave that cable just hang there. It'll just pull off of this uh, piece here. So go ahead and do that and we'll move on. Okay, so with the brakes off, you can see this is where your brake adjustable cable goes. Now a lot of times they don't, this set of shoes I got, it's already installed on there, but a lot of times it's not. They either just give you one in a box or they expect you to reuse the old one. So at any rate, the thing you have to be careful about now, I mean, if it's got the thing already on there, you don't even have to think about it. Just put that shoe back on. But if you look at these shoes, you see I got them lined up there. And here, one of them's bigger. Now, the one in the rear of the truck is always bigger. You can see that's got the thing already on there. So, if you have to install this, you just have to make sure you install it on the right shoe. So, yeah, the bigger one gets the cable thing on there. But like I say, a lot of times they don't give you more in there. And if you have to move it or install a new one, you see how this is the back of it. So it's got the thing there. It just goes through two little holes. And you just take something and bang those up. And then you can take a pair of pliers and squeeze it back down on the new one. Now, like I say, though, you just have to make sure you put it on the right shoe. The big shoe always goes in the back. Uh, but it's nice to have installed. Also, these pins, um, I've gotten them before where they don't have them, the pins in there or they expect you to use the old ones. So that's where your adjusting lever goes. So you just kind of got to pay attention. Like I say, if you get confused with it, you know, just go take a look at the other side and you'll see how it goes. So we're going to get everything ready and the next thing we want to do is take a wire brush or some sanding cloth. I usually just use sanding cloth and sand these, all these raised pieces down some and then just wipe a little bit of grease on there. You don't want too much grease on there because grease will get hot, melt and drip on your shoes. So you just, you know, a dab of grease, just enough to cover it. Um, and clean those up. So you got three on the front and three on the back. So we're going to go ahead and do that, get everything ready, and then we'll start reassembling. Okay, so we just stick our things back through there. You know, mine are new. If you're going to reuse them, you know, that's completely up to you. Like I say, you can reuse them a couple times. And then I usually start with the front one. Now, this spring has like a curly thing on it. And it's a lot easier to get in there now. I usually just sit that in there and just let it hang. And these things, what they do is they just fit in the hole and end up like this. So this is going to fall out, but what we do is you got to kind of hold the whole thing up there. And then you got to push in like we took it apart, get it lined up and push it in. And this part can be a little bit of a pain, and if it takes you two or three, four tries, you know, don't feel bad. It takes everybody that much times. But, yeah, you just use your screwdriver back again, or whatever tool you find works good. And stick your finger on the back of that ribbit, and push down on it, and clip it back in. So I usually just do the front one first, and then you move on and do the back. Now, same thing, the back, you just leave the cable hanging and the other end of the spring. Don't worry about that right now. Just get it clipped on there. So we're going to go ahead and do that next and then we'll move on and see what's left. Okay. So one more thing I probably should have added was when you put, you see how this one's out a little bit, your wheel cylinder, make sure whatever side you're working on. If you start here, you push in your wheel cylinder, it'll push out on the other side. You know, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Push it in tight tighter it is, the closer it is to where it goes, the easier it is to get that little clip on there. 
and then when you do the rear one you know push in on it and it'll push out on the front a little bit that's fine um i like to take a second you know as you can see i got airbags on here you know we have tons of videos you know go ahead and subscribe to our channel uh a lot of self-help uh, uh self-install and repairs for dodge cummings you know we got everything on there we got everything from transmission rebuilds to water pumps to you know and make your own airbag setup uh everything you can think of for dodge videos so go ahead and subscribe and you know take a look and see if anything else can help you out anyway you know these are pretty straightforward i just stuck it in the one hole the top spring and you just take a pair of chain locks and you know grab it and pull it and hook it in the hole the bottom one pretty much the same thing um, you know, just pull on it and hook it in the hole that it goes to. Now, you want to get your springs on there next. You can see I still just got my adjuster cable doing that. So we're going to get our main springs on there next. And then we're going to move on and see what's after that. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to remove our adjuster bracket. And this is how it goes. It goes on that pin. You can see the hole here is bigger at one end. That slides over, and then you just slide it down on the groove part of your new shoe. So I was going to—I told you I was going to tell you the little trick to keep how to keep these things adjusted right. So if you look at this, if you get yours and somebody hadn't already done it, this will be straight. And what happens is when it sits on the gear, it doesn't sit on there good. So if you take yourself two pair of pliers and you hold one side somewhere in the middle and hold the other side and bend it a little bit. So you're bending it so this part will sit flat on your adjuster. And if you get it in there, you'll, you'll see how it will sit flat. But if it sits flat, it catches the teeth and it won't unadjust itself. At any rate, next thing I do too is I always take my screw all the way out clean it up good and I'll put a little bit of grease on here just keep make sure it doesn't seize up and it you know it all has to do with your adjusting so you know take note of how your spring went on there set this piece so it is back in your uh, sleeve here or your slot here and then put this piece on and then this uh, little hook thing, so it's got a hook on it, hooks right in here. So once you get this on, you hook your cable into here. And then what you have to do is screw this in quite a bit and pull your brakes apart and fit this piece back in. Now, it should, you know, it can be like kind of put in backwards, but this part will fit next to your teeth obviously so if you have it the other way it's not going to line up there so there's only really one way it can go so we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to move on to the next okay so you see i got my cable on here one thing i want to note too is you see how it fits underneath your spring here and it goes down and it clips on the bottom here um and what you can do too is, it, if this spring will just fit off of here, okay, that makes it a lot easier to get your piece on here. Now put this on last, but put your piece, put slide your spring over the hole, put this piece on, then pull your spring up and attach it to the top here, and then hook your thing up. Now, the other thing is when you put your adjuster in, okay, slide your drum on the wheel if it's real loose you know take the drum off and adjust it by hand from here it's a lot easier to do than it is to do from underneath the truck um, and keep doing that till it gets close to where it, where it will just slide on now here's the thing if you have a Dodge this year range and uh, this Dodge has 540,000 miles on it uh, the rear that came with it was a limited slip and 
you cannot very easily spin the wheel around because generally with a brake job like this what you do is spin the wheel till you get just a little bit of resistance out of it and then you um, you know leave your adjustment there so what you do is you slide your drum on there till it's just about snug and you adjust it up now this is actually I've changed the rear this is an open rear so I can spin the wheel around but it, it's still a little bit difficult but if you adjust it just enough to when you start to feel it getting tight and stop usually that's pretty good and after you do both sides and you adjust it to that point if you step on the emergency brake and the emergency brake goes down like a quarter of the way you probably have your brakes adjusted pretty good because you can usually tell if your emergency brakes going all the way to the floor your brakes need to be adjusted that's usually how you can tell but at any rate you know that's about the best way I found to adjust them up so after you got your drum on you know both drums adjust them that way and try your emergency brake you don't want them too tight or you know, they'll bind and they'll, you know, like driving down the road with your brakes on it. It will actually damage your drums. Another thing, too, it's always good practice when you put brakes on to either have the drums turned or to replace them. Uh, you know, they get warped to a certain point just from age and heat and everything else. And at some point, they do need to be replaced. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. And like I say, you know, be sure to subscribe. We got tons of Dodge videos. Uh, you know, everything you can think of. Upgrades, repairs, you name it, we got it. And you have a pleasant day and thank you for watching.